and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you an alternative for the Shape Builder tool. So there is no direct Shape Builder tool in Inkscape like we have in Adobe Illustrator, at least not in the version that I'm using here. Let me create a circle, I'll hold Ctrl and I drag that, then right click duplicate or simply press Ctrl D. Let me give the second one a different color, I'll copy that, press and Ctrl D, click on it again, rotate it holding Ctrl. Let me give that a stroke by holding shift and clicking on the black swatch. And you can see we've got four circles here with a different fill and a black stroke. Let me get rid of the fill by clicking on the X sign. And now I go to path and combine. And you can see it has now a single box. Then I drag a rectangle on top. It must have a fill, so give it a fill. The stroke doesn't matter and it must be below the shape. So use the top menu to put it to the bottom. Select it all, then go to path and division. And now you can see all of these uh, overlaps are turned into single shapes and we can simply select them and delete them. So you can use that method to create your shapes. You can not only delete what you don't want, you can also shift click onto shapes and then union them on the path if you need that. You can get rid of the stroke, add a different fill color and you can see and this kind of replaces the shape builder tool. Maybe in the future they'll add a real shape builder tool would be good. But as long as it's not there, this method can be used to create any shape that you need. And I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.